Hi everybody, this is Dennis from the Dennis and Andy Show. I'm going to be doing a full review of The Bequest by Tom Seeley and Freddie E. Williams II by Aftershock Comics. Uh, issue number two. Uh, if you didn't uh, see our previous, one of our previous uh, recent episodes, we actually had Freddie E. Williams on our show as a guest and we got to talk about this. Um, it was quite enlightening. Um, fantastic uh, uh, episode. I suggest you, you all tune in and go back and watch it. But let's review this book. Um, this is, we, we've done a previous review on the first one, a quick and a long one, and we did a, a quick review. Um, this, you know, takes place where it's mirroring two different uh, worlds. The world of Tangia, which is um, very magic, Dungeons and Dragon based, and they're in Chicago, which is today. So again, as we had kind of talked about before, it's kind of like Earth Dawn and Shadowrun or something like Shannara. But instead of dealing with the same world, you know, evolving between magic and science and then magic and science in a uh, continuous circle, you're dealing with two what looks like parallel worlds that are able to converge and do it. And every D and D camp, good, you know, low level D and D campaign is always has orcs in it. And lo and behold, of course, we get orcs in this story. Um, uh, they they go through, um, you know, the orcs, of course, are are bad guys. Um, they have a really interesting, fun story that's uh, going going through this. Um, the the artwork is is quite fun and enjoyable um and the dialogue is very well done i think um it's very believable i mean you've got you know she's sitting out in uh out in the audience the band's playing um she's still getting used to it the alcohol's different over here she goes, no, no, this is my world. Uh, my body is slowly acclimating to it, you know, to this unclean taint. <laughs> she, the other lady's like, amen to that, honey. Um, like I said, the dialogue is just fun. Um, Warlock, of course, is out singing Chicago, not wearing anything other than his uh, a sword. Um, he's really excited because he can go by... Um, really good alcohol in little metal barrels, and he can do it with just sheets of green paper. So it's kind of fun how, you know, they don't understand our currency, and they go ahead and, you know, are trying to figure out how they can do it, enjoy some of the the splendors of, of our world. Um, so it's kind of funny. He winds up being kind of a jerk. Um... The girl whips out, you know, when he's going, Warlock's going out. He goes, what charm? She goes up and gives him a big kiss. And then, oh, something happens. He's like, damn, the unblemished gem. So it's pretty cool. They talk about it being an artifact. Um, it's actually uh, a jealous artifact. So they're taking some of the concepts of D&D, &D, Dungeons and Dragons. Um, you know, they're putting their own twist on it, but it, it's, it's really kind of a well done, you know, they're, they're a little crass, you know, and tits. Um, the story is just really cool. It goes around, they're in a new part of the city. Oh, going to eat the biker, arcane bolt. Look at that. So now we're getting magic again. Um, the story is, is quite fun and, and takes the heroes in different in different directions um but you know they know what they're good at they're good at being heroes although they don't always succeed from their other world and they're trying to pick it up in here so the creatures nasty monsters going off our arcane shield um anyway the, the the fight scenes are pretty fun you get to see the aftermath with what's going on um you know, the art in this way tells a lot in the in the way of the story. Um, I really think Tim and Freddie, they they complement each other in order to bring you a really fun and exciting uh, story. I'm not going to give away the entire uh, the entire story because I want you to pick this up and, and read it. But, you know, there are good things. There's bad things that happen. Um 
They're talking about a resurrection beast. Anyway, this is just really kind of fun story. Um, I love how they bring the magic around. Uh, you know, so many cool things that they're that they're actually dealing with. Um, anyway, I'm not don't want to give away the the entire storyline, but I will say this is a really fresh concept. I enjoy it. Um, I think you all will too. Um, I'm giving this one uh, a 9.4. Uh, I think this continues in the first vein of the first issue. I was captivated. I wanted to see more. This episode, this issue filled everything that I wanted it to fill for what I was looking for to continue the story. Um, this is just great stuff. Um, Freddie did mention that this was going to be uh, their first story arc. Um, and I think he said it was like a four issue series, maybe six, but I think it was four. So I really can't wait to see how this ends. Um, yeah, go out and buy, uh, the bequest. This is a great story. It's a fun read. This is just pure comic book enjoyment. Um, I would say, uh, you know, pick it up and hit the like and subscribe button. We love to hear comments from everybody. So please leave your uh, messages down below and love to hear your thoughts. If you like it, if you don't, what you would like to see, anything. We love to communicate. So anyway, thanks and we will talk to you all soon. Bye.